Is that even possible? Look at how Brady's looking. He's not looking too confident. Manning. Yeah, he looks ready to go. He looks loose. He looks ready to go right now. First play of the game. He, he bobbles the snap, I noticed, and still gets it off. Look at all that space between those two guys. That's Wes Welker, isn't it? He's trying to, He's going against his old team. I think, no, you know what? That wasn't Wes Welker. That was Eric Decker, I think. I'm pretty sure that was Eric Decker. Because he had Eric Decker this year, and I think he got Wes Welker the following year. I could be wrong, though. But yeah, that's Eric Decker. All right, next play. Look at this little half-ass rush. He's not really trying to get in there. Back shoulder, pass interference. Let's watch this again. Look at his pass interference. Look at him just grab onto him. Like, why would you grab onto him there? You're in great coverage. You're in great position. You don't need to grab him, but you grabbed him because you have to. You had to give the ball to him at the one-yard line right on time. Look at it, holding him the entire time. Like, why are you holding him? Even after five yards, holding him, holding him, holding him. Pulls his arm. Like, bro, you're doing that on purpose. They didn't call it, though. Yeah, it looks like they didn't call it. Or they, or maybe they called defensive holding and not PI because they're closer than before. Manning overshoots them. Fourth down, so they get three, right? Look at McDaniels. He does not look too thrilled. He does not look too confident right there. That does not look like a confident face right there. He's playing his old team, too. So he wants to win this, but they're not going to. They're still shifting on the D-line. Crashes inside. And gets shoved outside. Wide. Wide open. Overshoots him on purpose, guys. Let's watch this ball just get sailed. He sails this. Look at Edelman. He's not really run. Look at Edelman not really run. Watch Edelman. He's got him beat, but he's jogging, guys. He's not really trying to get there. It's all for show. All show, no tell. Oh, Akeem Tlaib got hurt. See? Look, Akeem Tlaib gets hurt, so now they can justify throwing all over the pads. This is on time, guys. They, they hurt Akeem Tlaib. Now they're going to go crazy on the pass game. I know it. Now they run the ball. What is? What are the Patriots doing here? Look at this. Look at their D-line. Look at this guy. You're just getting driven back five yards. Like, where's the effort? Look at this. Look at these two guys. Not fighting to get off. But my worst is these two guys. Like, well, why are you doing this? Why aren't you two getting off the block? Oh, because you're supposed to lose the game. You're supposed to give up a touchdown, most likely. Oh, okay. I'm just checking. He's stumbling on every yard line. Nice. Way to stumble everywhere. Next play. Everyone, now look at this time. They all pursue and rush in four or five yards into the line of scrimmage. Only to leave three people open in the end zone. Let's look at this again. Look at how they get all this push. They, they, they only did that to give space over here. Because if they stood here, they'd be able to bat the ball away. But now they get closer and they get out of range. They're in no man's land now. You would never want to rush like that because you're not going to get to him. You're in no man's land. If anything, you'd get back, leaving guys open everywhere. Like, I don't get this. So look at this guy jogging. This is Hightower, guys, and he's jogging over here. He's supposed to be sprinting, hightailing right here. This guy is supposed to be way closer. So I don't know what the hell's going on. No man's land, no man's land. If anything, go deeper. Like, go back. Help your team. You're not helping your team right there. So just a bunch of mistakes on purpose. This doesn't look like defense that Bill Belichick would call. So you're telling me Bill Belichick's going to leave one, two, three guys open in the end zone? Is that what we're saying? Okay. Right, right, right. Guys jogging around. Guys not knowing what's going on. Bunch of linebackers on the field. No cover guys. Right, right. Right. Stop. Alright, next play. Crashes inside. 
but actually gets there for once. Usually it doesn't work out that way. Look at Brady. He's like, damn it. Now they rush three and drop one back. I don't know why you would ever do that against Peyton Manning. That's what happens when you rush three guys. You give up, you're basically saying, here, score on us. We'll get a first down. Whenever you do that, when you only rush three on Brady and Manning, you're giving up a big play. I'm sorry, because they are licking their chops when they see only three men rushing. They know they're going to get that pass in there, and that's more time for them to throw. Again, they're only rushing three, and then I'm bringing a fourth guy late. But look at this. They do a delay blitz. Watch this. This guy's going to do a delay blitz, but they should have done a regular blitz, but they did it on purpose because they know if he went in right away, he's going to sack him. So watch this guy do a delayed blitz. These guys go, and then he waits a little, and now he goes. This guy's wide open when you do that, though, now. Decent tackle. Very, very decent tackle. I can't be mad about that tackle one bit. Akeem is back, I guess? Or is he back and just out? Look at Hightower jogging. And that's where Akeem Tlaib would be, I guess, right? So now they're going to just expose. Look, at, he's not playing, guys. He's done for. So this is why the Patriots end up losing. They can't stop the pass. Well, that's the story they make right there, wide open. Like, look at what 37 does. Like, 37, I get you're in a zone. I get it. You're in a zone. But you're bumping the best receiver off, and there's no one threatening your zone. You should have just kept covering that. You're literally passing him off to no one. Because the middle linebacker has to stay with that. So it, in this case, this guy needs to stay with him, bro. And then this guy needs to come up and make a hit. So they're not playing this correctly, guys. They're not playing this correctly. They're in a zone, clearly. Because look at how he's backing off. And he's pointing like he's passing him off to someone. They're in a cover two zone, guys. And I know that because the linebacker's in a deep middle zone. The deep hole. So, yeah, that's what happens. That's kind of, like, very hard to watch. Like, you don't know how to pass off people. And when there's no one to pass off on, you didn't know that you have to keep covering them. Hmm. And this should have been an interception. Look, corner's right there. Instead of breaking to make a play on the ball, he pushes the receiver in the back. Look, he could break on the ball and make a play, but he doesn't. I know he's a safety, but come on, bro. You, you can do better than that. They keep showing a keep to leave, guys. There's a reason they keep showing him. It's because they're going to lose because he's not there. That's why they keep showing him. Like, oh, he's not in the game. This is the reason why this is happening. So that should have been an indication right there, guys, watching this game, that the Patriots were going to lose. Now, let's see this. What's going on with the D-line here? Same guy getting driven back. So it looks like they're picking on this guy. Is that Wilford driving his ass back? That, that's tough, man. They, they're picking on this guy. I don't think it's Vince Wilfork. I think this is after Vince Wilfork's time. But anyway, let's see. They, they keep double-teaming this guy. And then it causes the middle linebacker to get blocked. Because you send the double-team and then the center comes off when the middle linebacker comes up. So the running back just has to set up his blocks. Go right and go back left. That'll make these guys shift over and then you'll have a bigger hole. But this is all on the double team right there. They seal that double team off. A seal here, a seal there, and you get a five, six, seven yard gain. First down and goal. A seal here and there. All right, let's watch what the DN does. He crashes slightly in, doesn't keep his hands active to bat this ball down at all. So the DN right there, look at how hard he's engaging on something that he can't make a play on. So really, he should have pushed one time and waited for the pass so he can jump up and bat the ball down. Instead, he keeps pushing this guy. The ball's thrown. You see the ball right there. It's thrown already. And this man is still pushing. He doesn't get his hands up. Because he wasn't trying to, guys. He wasn't trying to stop this play from happening. Every D-end is taught to put your hands up when the ball is about to be thrown if you cannot make the sack happen. That's what you're taught. Like, anyone that plays the D-line can tell you that. This isn't just a made-up fallacy. This is... Look at Brady's face, guys. Does this look like a face of a quarterback that thinks he's going to win? 
Like, Brady has been in a lot of games where he's in behind. Why would he be looking like this, guys? He, come back from, he comes back from everything. Now he looks like he's about to cry. Did you guys see him? Just look at him, man. Like, look at him. This is a defeated man. He's defeated. You can't deny it, man. 20 to 3? Like, come on now. Wide open. Shane Green gets smacked. He didn't really hit him as hard as he could have, though. I wonder if that was a fumble or if it was incomplete. That's incomplete. It's incomplete. Fourth and two. They have to go for it. They'll probably get it. Open. They got him. How did they get him, though? Let's see what they did. Let's see what they It looked like a crash inside. Yeah, he crashes inside. Oh, my God. And it actually worked out, but it wasn't him that got it. It was the D-tackle. Number 70 misses his block. Watch here. Number 70 whiffs. Number 70 is the left guard whiffs. Watch him. Whiff. Pushes at nothing, and then like, lets the guy come right through. That was probably a scheduled on-time play right there. Because you literally just didn't block the guy in front of you. Like, come on, bro. He's right in front of you. Look at Brady's face. No emotion. Because he knows what's up. He knows what time it is. This game's over. It's over, guys. Look, look, look at this coach right here. I forget his name. It's not Jack Del Rio. I forget this guy's name. But, yeah, look at him. Do you think they're going to win? Yeah, I'd say so. None of the Patriots coaches are looking like that. Oh, that might be North Turner, actually. I forget his name. That might be what his name is. Wide open, number 80. Why? Like, I called that right away. Look at this bump. It's a, They'd run a pick pattern. So this receiver comes in, he's going to pick this guy, and then this guy is going to come right around. Boom. Runs into him, but acts like he's running around. Bumps 32 just enough. And he dropped it. Bro, this man drops it. Has it, and then drops it. Kicks it almost. He, like, karate kicked it out of his hands. Let's see this again. Come on, come on. Come on, man. Show it to me again. Are they not going to show it? Are they really not showing this play again? They show us another fourth and three for the Pats. They only rush three, so this is going to get completed. Like, why would you only rush three on Tom Brady? That's what happens. Every time you're playing against a good quarterback and the team only rushes three guys, the completion is going to happen because... It's not as valuable to have an extra guy in coverage. It's more valuable to put pressure on the quarterback than to have an extra cover guy. It just is, man. Look at this. Look at how no one covers this guy. Look at how they both stand on the outside. Like, So no one's going to take him? This guy's not going to step over. This guy's not going to step in. They're just going to sit there and just let this happen, huh? Let him catch it and then just let him walk in. Look at it. Look at the effort on both of them. They just let him. There was no effort on that, guys. That was an on-time touchdown. I don't know if that one was deserved, but it was definitely scheduled. Wide open. Look at how the receiver pulled up a little bit. The receiver wasn't really going after this. Look. He pulls up. Alligator arms it. Doesn't fully extend his arms. Watch this. Right here. His arms... He's making the V over here. He's not fully extending his arms out straight to get the all the inches he can get. He's basically T-Rex arming it. T-Rex alligator arming. Look at those T-Rex arms. And that's what happens. You can't reach out and get it because you didn't really try to. We know. We know. Rest in peace, Demarius, Demarius Thomas. He did die earlier this year. So rest in peace to him. They rush four. This guy crashes inside, but they do a twist. Wide open. So at this point, they're just trying to make it look like a better game. We already know Denver wins this, and then they get crushed in the Super Bowl. Wide open. Look at how they don't cover the middle now. Now it's just like, whatever. This guy, he wasn't really supposed to take this all the way. They're in a zone. 
So what he should have done is hit him off his course. Hit him, turn back around, make a play over here on number 10. Instead, he turns and runs with this guy. And that's not your job. See how he turns back around haphazardly? Because he knew he wasn't supposed to really do that. You're not supposed to turn your back to the quarterback. He was supposed to hit him while facing the quarterback and then break on that pass. That's what was supposed to happen on that. But it did not because the NFL is fake. Look at Brady pump faking. He's going to get in, isn't he? Yep. I bet no one had this on their bets. Brady running one in. Bro, shame on this guy for falling for this terrible move. Shame on you. Look at look at him going right the entire time. Look, he does the fake already. Here we go. So watch this guy. Like, why are you falling for the fake that bad? All right, so he starts running. Look at him. Fake is right there. So the fake is done, and he still keeps going for the fake. He took three false steps to get to his outside shoulder just so he'd be able to run it in. And that's just Vegas points. No one thought that Brady was going to rush one in. He, they thought he'd be passing for touchdowns. So that's going to screw the numbers up, too, for people. And they stopped him from getting two. Let's see why. It's because of the defensive end did his job. See, guys? See what happens when you play outside in and you play from the outside? This is what you're supposed to do every time as a defensive end. What he did here is perfect. That's how you play that. That is how you do it. Like, that was perfect right there. That was a really good job. I think that at the end of the game, maybe oh, they tried an extra kick right here, the onsides. And they don't get it. Eric Decker gets it, walks out of bounds. And that should be the ball game. Look, look at Brady. As if he didn't know they were going to win, guys. Or they weren't going to win. Come on, guys. This stuff is so fake. And uh, we'll break down the NFC championship game next. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and be safe.